Hi, my name is Libby Gleason, and I'm going to read you this book, Big Dog. I wrote this book and it's illustrated by Armin Greeder. Big Dog. There's a big dog down our street. My sister Jen is scared of it. She hides behind me when we walk past on tiptoe. She is even scared when we walk past with Mum. When the dog barks at her, she cries and runs away. Mum says it can't jump the fence, but Jen's still scared. I say it can't crawl under the gate, but she's still scared. I hate that old dog, she says. It's very embarrassing. Dad says to ignore it. Mum says to look the dog in the eye and keep on walking. Cindy, who lives at our house, says to walk on the other side of the road. But we aren't allowed to cross the street by ourselves. What can we do? I said to my friend Diep. We were painting the lion for our New Year dance. She put the lion's head on and roared. We could scare the dog, she said. We practiced at our place. Roar! Dad was so scared that he stepped back on a roller skate and nearly fell on top of the baby. Mum jumped up in the air and banged her head on the cupboard door. Cindy nearly fell off her ladder. She gave us red and gold streamers to hang from the lion's head. We practiced on the front step. Roar! Diep's mother got such a shock that she turned the hose on the man next door. He got such a fright that he dropped his shopping and was crawling in the gutter to pick it up. We went out onto the footpath, Dieppe in front, then Jen, and then me. We planned to go to the dog's house, to stand on our side of its gate, and to roar so loudly that the dog would be scared right out of its wits. Dieppe stopped. I couldn't see what the problem was. What's going on? I said. The dog, said Dear. It's out of the yard. It's on the footpath. Jen started to cry. She tried to turn around, but she was stuck under the huge sheet. It's coming towards us, said Dear. I felt a bit nervous myself. Keep still, said Dear. It's almost here. The dog sniffed her feet, then sniffed Jen's, then mine. Pat it, said Dear. She knelt on the grass and put her hand out to the dog. I peeped through a hole in the sheet. The dog lay on the footpath and let her stroke its forehead. I touched its back. It put out its wet pink tongue and licked the lion's face and made a happy, gurgly sound. After a minute, Jen stretched out her hand and gently touched the top of its head. The dog rolled over and rubbed its back against the grass. We tickled its tummy. When we got home, Mum said, well, did you scare that old dog? Jen nodded. We sure did, she said. Now when we walk past the house down the road, the dog opens one eye and looks at us in a lazy way. Sometimes it runs up to the gate. Just for a minute, Jen holds my hand. Then she calls out in a loud voice, Roar! And that old dog just wags its tail till it looks like it might fall.